is here the busiest the toughest but also a period where you make more money so that's why i created a video full black friday q4 preparation execution for your bulletproof process to tackle this q4 so you can maximize your efficiency and your revenue so let's dive in we're gonna cover how to frame your offer when to launch your offer what are pros and cons what are technical stuff that you that you need to be aware of what to do when the offer is live in the ad account how to optimize how to scale what are some additional tips and tricks and how to end the sale smoothly so you don't get into position that you're spending too much but the results are not there so just to give you a quick proof why I'm doing this video so last year we spent over 7.6 mil in November only for our clients so I would say that I have a credibility in sharing these advices before you start the most important thing is your inventory so there are a couple of clients that we work with past years and like they did not forecast their inventory and their demand I uh, well so basically we got into position that we had to decrease budget or even turn off the ad because they did not have the inventory this is a huge huge problem and definitely sort your inventory before you start running ads if you're low on inventory set up your goals higher so you can last the full q4 another big thing that you need to do before you start running ads scaling massively is check your ad account spending limit this is one of the ad account from 2021 where we got in the middle of q4 in the middle of black friday we realized that our account is capped and it could not spend more than 10k we managed to increase it but only on cyber monday so basically black friday was gone the whole weekend was gone so now like we make sure that the account spending limit is non-existent and that we can scale as much as we can when the opportunity is there so those are two things that you need to sort in terms of your offer there are a couple of times where you can start options are to start on the first of november to start on a monday in a week of black friday or to start on a thursday or exactly at the black friday the pros is that uh, if you start earlier you're going to capitalize on a lower cpms but on a con side like if you're running a sale for a whole month maybe it's like cheapening your brand maybe you don't want that maybe you don't want people to think uh, low of your brand hey this brand is always on sale so definitely that's a business decision in terms of the end day usually brand and on a cyber monday or in previous year when cyber monday was in november and then we had a couple of days until the end of the month so mostly brands were running until that day but now cyber monday is in December so if you notice that your revenue for November is lower than last year be mindful that Cyber Monday is in December so probably your December numbers would be way better if you're gonna run for the full month I definitely suggest to have multiple offer because if you have one only one offer for the whole month people will get fatigued of the offer fatigued of the ad so as I said this is a business decision if you're gonna start early make sure that you have different kind of offer. what are your options in terms of the offer so it would be good if you already tested this offer so for example we had Amazon Prime Day we had Labor Day where you could have tested what kind of offers you should run during Black Friday because the last thing that you want is get into position that you're running an offer that's not converting so options are to run a discount code which is obviously easiest but it's taking most of your margins if you have a specific collection that's not maybe selling well you can have a discount only on that collection so if you have a site-wide discount you can discount one collection let's say 50 percent and all the others are 20 percent and then you can advertise save up to 50 so that's a cool trick obviously you would have some people complaining about this because not everything is on 50 percent but that there's a reason why walmart why all the big chains in retails are advertising up to 50 or whatever your maximum discounted uh, product is other option is gift with the purchase so that does not chip in your brand does not impact your margins but then on the other side maybe it would not convert as much potentially you can gift a product that that is not selling on its own so good but then on the other side it could perform worse than a discount because maybe there's exactly a reason why people are not buying that product what you want to do is not just say hey here's a free gift but like say here's a free gift worth i don't know 70 or 80 dollars which is what in your regular pricing but you're actually getting that for maybe 10 15 so basically the perceived value of them getting a free gift is way bigger so if you can manage to frame your offer that way then with purchase can be a really good offer and then my favorite is bundles so basically you're bundling your product to increase your aov and then you can give a bigger discount because your margins would not be affected so much because your aov is offsetting that so options are to make complementary products 
products in a bundle. So let's say you're selling a pre-workout and creatine and protein shake together, or you can sell more of the same. So basically three month protein shake or something like that. So basically that's why in skincare and in supplements, these are the offers that work the best. If you want to be aggressive, you can run tier discounts like buy two, get one or buy three, get two. Or if you want to be super aggressive, that obviously depends on your margin. That's the offer that works the best for most of our clients that we tested this is buy one, get one free. As I mentioned, it's super aggressive. It's also hurting your margin the most, but if you can make it work that your revenue per visitor and your conversion rate is higher, I strongly suggest that. On the other side, it's also better than giving a 50% discount because then your AOV goes down. This way, at least you have the full AOV. So when you give one for free, in theory, it's not such a big impact on your margins. Technical stuff, before you start running ads, make sure that you have defined team of your sales. So it doesn't happen that you have an email in red color, then the ads are in green, but then your website is on yellow or whatever. So basically you want to have unified team of your ads, emails, and website because people connect those colors one to another. Definitely have a countdown timer, which sounds a bit salesy to all of us in marketing, but uh, that definitely works for consumers. Have banners on a website because you would have a lot of people coming through your regular ads landing on a website and if you don't have offer communicated then you're losing a people that would potentially convert if you giving a discount it would be good if you can make a site-wide discount and then have the code pre-applied so basically instead of them entering black friday 20 as a discount code when they add the card the code is already applied that removes the friction and you get more people to convert have your email campaigns and your influencer post calendar so you can actually realize when your revenue will probably be higher because when you send an email your revenue would spike that allows you to spend more on a certain days on Facebook ads because you know your MER would be good because there's additional revenue coming from outside of the ad account okay what to do when the offer is live so Black Friday is a capitalization of all of your traffic through the year so basically for a couple of our clients we are intentionally lowering our target now in October because we know we are gonna convert those people in November why we are doing that in advance because CPMs are now cheaper than what they will be in November. So I want to attract as many people in my funnel that I know I'm going to convert. Obviously, you can do that only if you have historic data. If you're just starting out, I would not necessarily rely on that because you could be overspending. But what can help you in uh, knowing when your highest revenue days and your best performance, probably day when you launch the sale, days when you send an email, and obviously Black, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. On those days, you should probably allow yourself to spend a bit more because you know like okay CPMs will be higher but also conversion rate will be higher so definitely you're gonna make more on those days so it makes sense to align the budget to that performance okay so here's an example of one client you can see how CPMs are between 17 and 20 in October but then in November we are between 25 and 32 so basically that's like almost ten dollars difference in CPM so basically that's why it makes sense to run uh, a, a bit more aggressive ads in October. You can see like on a Black Friday, yes, yeah, CPMs were higher, but also conversion rate was pretty high. So even though we did not spend much more, like maybe what, 80% uh, than, the, than the previous day, uh, Shopify revenue is high, MER is high. Basically, you know, people would convert. Uh, that's why for this client, we are currently spending 20K a day, uh, not necessarily with the amazing ROAS, but the decent ROAS that we, but because we know people are gonna convert during November. So here's an example of one brand that started earlier they started on the 30th of October uh, with a sale only to their VIP uh, email list so basically people that sign up for that deal people that already bought from them and like they this brand want to treat those customers to give them an uh, opportunity to buy first so this was just from a VIP email then after that you can see that's VIP email we launched the ads uh, but then we noticed like as the weekend approach we started scaling because performance is getting better we identify in the couple of days which are the best performing ads so we launch them in a new campaign with uh, with a higher budget so this is a perfect example of a perfectly executed black friday uh vip launch both on an email 
scale and then uh, on the ad side okay so most important thing from this video is that you should not turn off your evergreen ads those are ads that have usually pretty good click rate they have a substantial history of uh, good performance they have a lot of social proof so people are clicking on these ads even if they do not have an offer so when they click on those ads and they land on your website and then see that there is a discount there's a very high chance that they will convert so definitely do not turn off your evergreen ads I have a lot of ad accounts where my evergreen ads are the best performers during the Black Friday period but besides those ads you still want to have ads that are talking about Black Friday so a couple of examples first is image communicating the offer so it, it contains only from product offer the mentioning discount maybe mentioning the the code that you should apply so it's super simple these ads will probably go mostly to your middle of the funnel bottom of the funnel or people that already bought from you but they are a great and cheap way to actually uh, convert more people because your images would always have lower CPMs than videos and you definitely want to scoop that middle of the funnel bottom of the funnel that you work so hard through the year another thing is videos communicating the offer so it's a video talking only about the offer obviously it's mentioning the product but it's highlighting the offer uh, you want to have a couple of those that are talking only about uh, offer because during this period consumers are interested only in getting that great deal so when you highlight that uh, you get an ad that's performing very good uh, another example is a catalog with uh, Black Friday ad copy so basically you could have either a first first card fix that's communicating the discount or you could have image that is like actually carousel that's built manually where the first card is again about the discount you can combine either with the Black Friday ad copy or it can be a regular one but this is a great way if you having a lot of SKUs which works in jewelry clothing supplement uh, so basically if you know people are returning customers this is a great way because they can easily browse through the product they want to buy and they know this there's an offer and something that uh, we are leveraging really recently is evergreen videos with the meme style banner communicating the offer so basically you take your evergreen winners that you know are performing well and then you just slap a banner at the top or at the bottom which is communicating the offer you can see here exclusive black friday bundle save up to 50 percent and here 25 percent of site wide so basically you're leveraging the ad that you know has a good thumb stop ratio hold rate people are watching it so and you're just adding a banner that way you're combining a great video and a great offer and you'll get more people convert this way some additional ads that you want to try during this period is four second video uh, this is a video that contains only from the offer and the and the product and the call to action basically it's only four seconds people watch it again which is which then has high 100 view which often results in a lower cpm which is pretty important during your black friday when the cpms are high another way is long form carousel basically it's one image divided into four or five so again it creates a unique experience on a feed because people are like browsing to see how the whole image looks like and it's also communicating the offer other ad tips so definitely you want to highlight your urgency and scarcity here are some couple of uh, phrases and words that you can use in your ads never again today only last chance act now don't delay hurry limited stock so although these sounds a bit cheesy to us as a marketer they definitely work with the consumers and don't forget about gifting angle so for example something that we realized is even during November there are a lot of people that are buying uh, products as a gift for Christmas because they know they can get it on discount so if you have a product that's giftable definitely I suggest like 10% of your ads to be around gifting angle so you can use the messaging like get your Christmas present sorted early or something like that because you will get a portion of the audience that would buy not from themselves but for their friends or family in terms of the audiences so basically I start doing all of the tests with broad audience I know that images will partially do retargeting um, so then I'm not worried too much about uh, not running on broad I can also see by percentage of new visits that images are mostly doing retargeting couple of additional audiences that I suggest you test but only after you have proven ads don't test them right away so is a mix of online online shopping and engaged shoppers stack look alike of buyers from your last Black Friday Cyber Monday period basically you go into Klaviyo and you create an audience of people that bought between 1st of November and let's say uh, 15 of December you sync that audience to to Facebook and then you create a lookalike talk of that so those are people that are bargain hunters those are people that want to create deals so it makes sense to test them retargeting stack I'm not a fan of super uh, segmentation on retargeting so I basically just stack my retargeting audience together those are website visitors Facebook and Instagram engagers and video watchers because again these are people that are familiar with your product they're most likely waiting for a deal so it makes sense to capitalize on them and if your brand is okay with advertising to existing buyers uh, then you can either have a specific 
campaign or ads are targeting only existing buyers and you can increase the cap in your Advantage Shopping Plus to allow the delivery to this audience of existing buyers. Account structure and scaling. So basically similar to evergreen campaigns for each of the creative concept, I want to have two to five different variations. I launch everything in a broad where each of the ad set is new test. Everything is an ABO that allows me to scale whatever is working right away there in testing campaign. And then I take the post ID and I put them into Advantage Shopping Plus. I mostly run it on click during Black Friday period because I want people to act now and I don't want Facebook to attribute too many sales from the for which it's not responsible from the view conversions. Probably I'm going to run it with the cost caps. That's what I saw success last year. But as I mentioned, not in testing, only in scaling because I cannot predict what the performance would be and to what extent I could scale. If you notice that in Advantage Shopping Plus or in your regular campaign, there are some countries that are not getting spent, but they're getting high returns, then you can isolate performance only for those uh, country in those single uh, single assets. So you can actually amplify what's working, but the Facebook is not necessarily recognizing. In terms of the uh, scaling, there are a couple of ways. As I mentioned, uh, one is cost cap, basically Advantage Shopping Plus with a high budget and with a cost cap, I know uh, is okay for me to convert. Definitely scaling my evergreen campaigns. As I mentioned, there are a lot of uh, campaigns that I'm going to scale with the evergreen ad and serve scaling. I'm not a fan of that during the regular period, but during Black Friday period, when I know the conversion rate will be higher, I'm a fan of this. You can use it manually. I do that manually when I'm making decision based on third party tracking software and on click cross, because then I cannot have a rule that triggered uh, because I cannot set a rule that's going to be fired based on triple veil or nor beam numbers. So I have to do it manually. I have to cross reference. If I'm making decision based only on Facebook, that I can set a rule that would be fired multiple times during the day that would increase the budget if the performance is there. So when the sale is ended, there are a couple of things that you should be aware of. Conversion rate would go down. So if you have a high budget and even if it cost cap, if you do not adjust the, uh, the bid, Facebook will could continue to spend thinking the conversion rate would be higher. So I definitely suggest after your Cyber Monday, decrease the overall budget, decrease the cap. And when you're optimizing on Tuesday or like Wednesday, Thursday, do not take into consideration Monday numbers because those results would be inflated because the Monday will be a great performer because it's Cyber Monday. After that is ended uh, and like you want to switch your messaging to gifting, basically this is a period where most people are gonna buy uh, products as a gift for their uh, family and loved ones. So basically you want to have that switch in messaging and then something a lot of, a lot of brands are not uh, capitalizing is a Q4. That's basically a period between the Christmas and a New Year when a lot of brands are not advertising so your CPM goes down, but then there's a way to leverage that audience, especially if you have a product uh, that uh, is like perfect for new year, new me. And that's where you want to capitalize on that um, lower CPM. If you're in UK, Australia, you could have a boxing day, which is also like a pretty good event to tie your uh, offer to. So just to recap, like it's not me just like talking random stuff. You can see for one of the client, their target goal for November was one mil, managed to do three mil with this scaling approach of mine. The other client had a record day of 530k which is like half a mil the other client had an amazing uh, black friday cyber monday weekend with a couple of record days so if you're a brand that's spending at least 50k in your ad account on facebook ads and you want me to manage your strategy for black friday just dm me on twitter or book a call below and let's scale your black friday and cyber monday and q4 see you